Hello and welcome to episode 35 of Youth Squad Legends Series 4 with York City. This will be the end of the normal fixtures of this season. I'm going to say the normal fixtures because it, it's quite unlikely that we're going to make the automatic promotion spot. So there will be another three fixtures afterwards to determine who goes up in the playoffs. For us to gain to that automatic promotion spot, we need a change of fortune, really. Bristol City and Notts County need to drop, well, significant points in three games. And we need to win every single match that we play. Then there's a possibility of us taking that second place. York City against Leighton Orient. I'm going to put the goal news on for both the Notts County game. And where is Bristol City? Right, okay, so them two games are on the goal news. Well, just Chucking it down today. Pitch will be soggy. The ball will be running fast on the surface. And there is an early chance for Leighton Orient, but it's easily gathered by our keeper. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, and, th and there's some kind of ritual going on there that's just a killer ball and that, I couldn't do anything about that I've got Bastos and Brees Roof playing centre back and when a ball comes in like that you need a you need a louse it's a great finish on his second touch as well it doesn't really matter about goal news now if we lose this or even draw this game we are out of the running for that automatic promotion spot. Koto knocks down into a position where nobody is. Azevedo collects. Mastriani, look at Fenton. Keep going, Fenton. Do us proud, lad. Oh. Still 1-0 to Leighton Orient. Sam Gale collects. Crosses it in. And that is not very good. Come on, Banjo. See that? That was nice, tight defending. And the pressure really got to that Leighton Orient player, hitting it out for a goal kick. I think the motivation has just drained out my players at the wrong time here. They have a chance to go up into the championship and like, yeah, but I can't be arsed, man. I passed that back too far, haven't I? That is half time. At 1-0 to Leighton Orient, and that, that just proves how shoddy I've been. I passed it back to a player that was in the middle of the pitch. Therefore, the referee could blow his half-time whistle. We're at home as well. And the home fans must be going, what the fuck am I watching? Koto's injured. Oh, that's grand. Oh, that is perfect. Koto to whip it in. Thankfully, he's all right from that past injury. Oh, yes! Why did my guy throw his fucking body at it? Mastriani was right there. I can't believe that. Come on. Yes. Gale's actually done something decent. He's back to Gale. Oh, it's Sam Gale. It's his moment in the spot he's missed. Holy crap. He's done everything right apart from the finish. And it's well done, Fernando da Silva. On to Fenton. Can there be a late twist in the draw? But yes, there can be. Hang on. We have two minutes left. This is the 88th minute. It's 1-1. He's, he's literally slipped and put it into the back of the net. That's, that's quite funny. He slipped and put it into the back of the net. Funny as fuck. One of the weirdest goals that you'll see in New Squad Legends Series 4. If we could push on for a winner now, it would go mental. The place would erupt. Oh, go on Mastriani, you can do it. Mastriani to cross in. Oh, there's a punch away. Three minutes of out of time. Rios is not going to get that clearance. The Leighton Orient attacker is offside, so this, it all comes down to this. Rios. 
Hold on to your hats. There might be something very special from Fenton. Oh, it's wide. And that will end the game and end our chances of an automatic promotion spot. If Bristol City and Notts County both lost, then mathematically we could still get that second place. But it is really unlikely now. Notts County lost. Bristol City won. We're in the playoffs. Right, because we've had a dampener at the start of this episode, I'm thinking let's sim the next two matches and we'll make this episode the playoff special. So it's York City against Rotherham. Oh, well, we won 4-0. Well, that might be the best result of the whole season, and I wasn't even playing it. The last regular game in the League One season. Caesars away against Shrewsbury. And we have won it 3-2. So here's how it ended. We finished on 84 points. Fourth place in our first season in League One. We will play Notts County in the semi-final away and home. We have the slight advantage of being home in the second leg. And then obviously if we win that game, we play the winners of Bournemouth versus Crawley Town. Here it is. It's coming to May. Oh! May time. And that guy is shit. So is Durrell Mello. Oh, please let them not all be like that. Jack Moore's actually pretty good. Jack Westlake is shit. Oh, Johan Sunderquist. Jesus. Look at this guy. Overall of 62 to 66 and he's a striker. Six foot two as well. Oh, we might have found a gem there. Let's offer this guy a contract. He might even play in the playoffs for us. We've also got Manuel Steinman at the bottom. Overall of 49 to 61 potential of 68 to 84. But there's nothing really special there. Except Leo Kuna. But he's uh, not available at the moment. Because he's only 15. Monthly scouting updates. Luke Gardner got us two. And they are both shocking. Thanks Luke. From Germany. There are five people on this list. And they're all crap. What is going on? No. 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 Is it that difficult to find me a centre back? Johan Sundekwitz is in the first team setup now. And I think he's going straight into the team. Let's have a look at his overall. Holy shit, he's a 64. He is a 64. Oh, I don't understand his attacking and defensive work rate. That confuses me. But he is a 64, and well, his acceleration and sprint speed for a 6'2 is not that bad. Especially because he's a more skill attribute sided. Oh, that's a, that's a good signing. Here we go. First leg, Notts County against York City. Hey, now that we've got uh, Johan up front, we might actually be able to um, win some headers. Look how much of a beefcake he looks. Chavez. Ayala. Sundervitz is going in the middle. He's actually got it. Oh, Cresswell. Yes. We take the lead in the playoffs. Get in. Kwame Cresswell, who I've criticised recently, has bagged for us in a very important match. Johan takes it. Oh, what a debut for the lad. He's very skillful as well. He's going on a run. Oh, it's the Cresswell. Wow. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Johan. And back to him. Puri. Oh. It's only been 13 minutes into his debut. And I think we've got another star. Oh, he's a space. A massive gap has appeared in our defence. And it is of no surprise that they finished the chance. All our good work is eradicated. It is level on the scoreline once again. There's Bastos. Skips past one. Skips past two. It's amazing that he's a centre back, isn't he? One of our best dribblers. Ayala. Demenzes. Oh, referee. You can't stop for half time there. You know what? I would take this at the final whistle. 1 1 away from home against Notts County. Bring them back to York and obliterate them. 
Oh shit, this guy's on side. Go on, keeps. Why have you punched that? Why has that guy fallen to the floor so dramatically? Oh, everything's going wrong. You know what? I wouldn't have been surprised if Reese Roof just ran that into the back of his own net. Fernando de Silva, last chance. Dragged it wide. Finishes 1 1. Right, it's time to psych ourselves up. Fucking come on! Come on! Wait, hang on. When the fuck was Alauskis injured? That's news to me. Why, why is Alauskis injured? Oh, oh no. Oh, no, no, no. We've lost our best centre bike for the playoffs. Oh, that is perfect. I did say early on in this season that if we lost one of our centre bikes through injury. We would be fucked, and Alauskis has had a solid season. Azevedo. Chance. Corto. What a ball to Mastriani. Azevedo. Goal. Yes. Yes. Where's that Vuvu Zayla? <laughs> We've taken a huge leap to the League One playoff final. Half time, 1 0. If York City keep it like this, they're in a final with a chance of playing in the championship next season. Johan. Oh, that's a great ball. Alexandre Azevedo. What a save. What a save. Both teams trying their best to win a place in the final. Nine more minutes. I might even deploy time-wasting tactics. Oh, what a button. No, that is not offside. How can you call that as offside? I want to see this replay. <laughs> you think that is offside? He, fine, his leading foot has strayed marginally offside. Oh, okay, all right. Not, no attacking advantage either. And a time of three minutes. It is only three minutes that we can hold on. Oh, that's probably their best chance of the whole half. Wow. I think we can hold on here. Puri. Crossed into Johan. Oh. Corto. Yes, he's won that. Dropped Wyala on the volley. Oh! That has finished the game. Bring on. The League One playoff final. Special players score special goals. What a goal by Ayala. That Ayala goal hit them hard. And it only needs the referee's whistle to confirm their downfall. There it is. It finishes 2-0 to York City. A trip to Wembley is confirmed. Just got news that Khalid Al Shamri wants to leave this youth squad. Uh, he's not that great, really. His overall is probably going to be about 59 overall. I were expecting a lot more from him in the May update, but it never really materialised. This is it. The biggest game of the season. Win this, we're in the championship. Lose this. We stay in League One. Is York City against Bournemouth? Johan. Ayala. Oh, space for Corto. Is he on side? No, he isn't. He didn't check his run on time. Come on, Bastos. Don't let Pittman go through. Oh my God, they've deemed that as a foul. That could have been a red card if the referee was being a bastard. And a Mastriani. Look at Corto going through. Here's Corto. Great tackle. Corto still. Puri. Azevedo. Oh. Can't break him down yet. Could be a long day. Come on. Come on. Good strength shown there by Bastos. Holding it up so Fernando de Silva didn't have to stress about collecting it. And now we attack. Azevedo. 
Johan through the centre. Johan Sunderquist, no. Ah, was that his moment to make a real impact on this first team? Oh no, Miles Smith's injured. Who's going to play centre like for me then? A fucking bruised elbow stopping you from playing a playoff final. Um, I don't even know what to say about that. You, you can't just stop when you've got a bruised elbow, especially not in a playoff fucking final. We don't have any centre bikes. Dimenzes can play centre bike, but he's five foot freaking eight. Brees Roof's our right back. Let put Brees Roof at uh, centre back and bring Hermer on. Maybe Simmons can play right back for us. And we're going to have to play like that. Come on, lads. I know you can do something. I believe in your ability to break down Bournemouth. Yes. Johan Sunderquist. Oh, the deflection. He's hit the post. Diving header. It's a diving header. Yes. I think it's Ayala again. Ayala scored two in the playoffs. And this could be one of the most important goals he ever scores. Oh, Johan. <laughs> what a what an end to the first half that crunching Johan challenge. Him and in space. Herma defends. We've been that tight at the back today. I'm so proud of the lads, especially without Alauskis there. Come on, come on, come on. Ayala challenge. If he's not the man of the match, then I want to know who's deserving of it more than him. Oh, Johan with a great pass to Corto. Good save. It's still bobbling about. Johan Edzik. Mastriani. Johan Sunderquist. Oh, flaming hell. Nine minutes to go. Bournemouth have only had one shot at our net. And uh, we've controlled it so well. Big match, young players. And you know what? We've been the better side. We deserve this promotion. Come on, Ayala. Oh, what a pass. Shit. Oh. <laughs> she fell over. She fell over. No, no. No. Oh, the goal is in. Fuck's sake. We're going into extra time here. I've been silenced. A challenge comes in from one of our defenders. It removes the dangers. Only briefly. Oh, I don't even know what to say about that. I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. This is going to be a very tense half an hour now. We should have wrapped it up. We should have been more than 1-0 in front. Chavez is on. Chavez. It hits it. We've scored. Fuck me. Mastriani in the right place at the right time. They could only parry Chavez's shot. And Mastriani might have put himself in York City folklore. Half time and extra time. And we have the goal that we craved. Fuck's sake. Go on, Ruth. Okay, that didn't work. Shit in hell. Fernando da Silva couldn't hold it, and it was all down to who was placed where, and thankfully my defender got there first. Shit, shit. There's only one minute to play. Oh, what a save! You might have just bagged yourself a proper contract with the team. If Valencia want to sell you, you're ours. You are ours. Fuck, I will pay the money for you. Head eight. It's wide. We finished. York City are in the championship. Yes. Yeah. 
Get in! Right. I'm going to leave you here. We have Triumph. 2-1. And I don't think it will be the goal scorers that will be remembered. I think it will be that last minute save by Weatherton Fernando da Silva. He's there. I think he's going to actually lift the trophy for us. He is. I, you know what? He deserves to lift it. I'm going to sign out now and you're going to watch these celebrations. This has been Cutsake. Thank you for watching. Please like the video if you've enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please get subscribed. And I will see you next time.